right, guys, welcome back. Here's part six of my complete After Effects course. Today, we're looking at how to animate layers. So let's get into the video. All right, guys, Neil from Neil Collins Recording. Welcome to my channel if you're new. Welcome back to my channel if you're not. Either way, appreciate you watching this tutorial. So this is part six of my complete After Effects tutorial. I do suggest you watch this from the beginning. So you can go to the playlist here and watch from the start. This is gonna be a complete After Effects course that takes us from very beginner to pro in really simple, bite-sized, easy to digest tutorials. So last tutorial, we did our first quick animation and this tutorial is following on from that. Similar thing, we're gonna do a quick animation, but I'm gonna show you how to animate multiple layers at the same time. So let's jump into After Effects and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so here we are inside After Effects. Now I've got two separate text layers, animate and layers. And I've also got my rectangle shape layer. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to animate multiple layers. And I'm gonna show you some nice handy shortcuts. So it makes the whole animation process nice and simple. If we go to our top text layer, and we open our little drop down on our timeline, then we could just go to transform. It opens up all of our parameters, position, scale, rotation, opacity. So you can just do it from your standard transform drop down. We can also use some shortcuts. So the first thing that you need to know is that you can do this to both text layers all in one go. So if I select the top layer, if I hold down shift, and select the second text layer. Now both text layers are now selected. So anything I do to either text layer will get done to the other text layer as well. So this is where the shortcuts come in. Now if I press S on my keyboard, you can see that scale now appears underneath both the top text layer and the animate text layer. And we can now add keyframes to the scale parameter on both these text layers all in one go. So if you press S again, it will get rid of scale. Now, if we wanted to change the position, we just press P and the same applies. So position now appears underneath both the top text layer and the other text layer. Press P again and it will get rid of that parameter. Same for opacity, which is actually T. Okay, so same thing. And rotation, which is R. Press R again and it gets rid of rotation. So for the purpose of this animation, I'm just gonna be changing the scale and the opacity. So I'm gonna press S, and as you can see, we've now got scale underneath both of our text layers, but I also wanna add opacity. Now what you do to add another parameter is you hold down Shift and then press that parameter's shortcut. So Shift and T for opacity, and now we've got scale and opacity parameters underneath both of our text layers. So nice and simple, really easy to do. What I'm gonna do is move our timeline indicator two seconds into the animation. Now also, if you want to be precise with this and you don't wanna just rely on your eye or it's snapping into place, you go to the time display in the top right of the timeline, then you can manually type in two seconds and it will automatically put your indicator in exactly the right place. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave the scale at 100% because we want the text to be at 100% when it gets to two seconds. And I'm gonna press our little stopwatch to create a keyframe. And you can see that it, not only has it created a keyframe for the top text layer, it's also created a keyframe for the bottom text layer as well. Everything I'm doing here is actually getting done on the other text layer as well. Okay, so let's move it back to zero on our animation. And we're gonna go to 0% scale. And again, it's done it for not only the top layer, but the text layer underneath is at zero also. We're gonna move back to two seconds in, and we're gonna leave the opacity at 100%. So we're gonna click on our little stopwatch, and again, it will do the same thing to both text layers. We'll move it to the start, and we're gonna change the opacity to 0%. 
And now, if we go to preview and play, you can see that the text comes in, scales up, and the opacity goes to 100 as we get to two seconds. Now, as you can see, I've got quite a long animation timeline here. So if I just want to be looking at what's going on in these first two seconds, then we want to be moving this work area end. Now you can move it manually, you can just click and drag, or you can use this shortcut. And all you need to do is have your timeline indicator where you want it, so let's say three seconds-ish, and then you just press N on your keyboard. And then that will now give you that smaller work area. And now when you press preview, okay, so it will run through and then it will go back. Okay, so you don't have to go all the way to the animation before it replays it. So that's nice to know. So that's N on your keyboard, okay? So let's say we want to animate the shape player as well. First thing I'm gonna do is rename it. So I'm gonna right click, go to rename. I'm just gonna call it background. Okay, so now that's called background instead of shape layer. So what I want this to do is I want it off screen and then as the text comes in, I want it to end up where it is now basically. So if I go to two seconds in, go to transform, I want the position to be where it is basically. So and if I go to zero and then I click and drag the you can see it's moving, okay? Now I don't want this to move. I want it to be in a straight line. So let's control Z. So if I click and now it's a black arrow and then hold shift, you can't move left or right. We'll make sure you can't deviate left or right, okay? So we're gonna have it about there, just off screen. Okay, so if now go to preview, and there we go, okay? So now our shape is coming in as the text becomes 100% and full opacity. Simple animation, but as you can see, this is how you animate multiple layers at the same time. Okay, so say you wanted to speed up this animation, all you would do is highlight all of the keyframes. Okay, and then move them all. Let's move them all to one second. And we'll also move our work area to around the two seconds. So we're going to press N. Okay, we'll press preview, play. And now you can see it's a much quicker animation. Okay, so all the parameters are the same. We've just moved them to one second instead of two. What I forgot to mention when we were doing our shape animation is to make sure that your shape animation keyframes are exactly the same as the text animation keyframes. Then to line up with these keyframes, if you press K, it will take you to the next keyframe. If you press J, it will take you to the previous keyframe. And then you can put your keyframes in and you know they're in exactly the same place as the text above. And there we have it, a really simple animation, but we've used some nice shortcuts and we've also animated layers at the same time to make the animation process bit simpler and a bit quicker. So that's it for this one. I hope you found this tutorial useful and I hope you're finding the actual course useful. So please do comment below, give it a thumbs up, help shoot it up the old YouTube algorithm. And let me know how you're finding the course. It'd be great to get some feedback off you guys so I know what to improve or if I'm headed in the right direction. At the moment, I'm trying to keep it all quite bite-sized chunks so the course is easy to digest. At the moment, we're still very much in the beginner stage. We're getting to some basic animations now, but we're still very much all beginners learning together. Obviously, as the course progresses, we'll get into more complex motion animations. If you're not already, please do consider subscribing to my channel. I'm releasing content twice a week, audio and visual gear reviews, editing tutorials, drone tutorials, anything filmmaking basically. So it'd be great to have some new faces on board. I'm heading towards the 2000 subscribers mark, which as I've only had the channel for just over a year, I'm really happy with. So please do subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so I can let you know when new content is released. If you are already subscribed, as always, really appreciate you guys. Just make sure that your notifications are turned on so I can let you know when new content comes out. But that's it for part six. I'll catch you in part seven.